Hi everybody, welcome back to Absolute Power, right here on Casters and Castles. I'm tormented by gnomes, joining you after the break, once again with Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, Ninja Man, Matt, and Pods of War. Playing Absolute Power, the superhero tabletop RPG by Daisgami Publishing Company. Thank you for sponsoring us. We are having a ton of fun with this super customizable system. We've created a set of characters that I never would have imagined amongst the four of you. And we're letting them loose in the world of Sentinel Earth, right here in Empire City, where... Sadie and Buria, are you jumping in the car to go get your pens? Because they have a car for you. They sent like one of those SUVs with the D, the electronic decals. I can on. That's what they assumed. So Miss Bloom is taking the phone away, taking Eretic away, who's being shuffled off by some troops. Is it the same Q driver from before? Yes. Yo, Buria, I mean, it's just so much easier. <laughs> I mean, put, let your feet back. You know, they got champagne in the car. Are there any sweets? Yeah, yes. actually. Okay, I was Pretty gonna cool. lie and say yes. <laughs> no, when you pull up some of those Russian candies that you ordered, the first few like have arrived. Oh, da. All right. Right this way. And they'll go ahead and ch -ch close and drive off into the city. Are you going straight to your place? The apartment, yeah. Okay. The, to the apartment to pick those two up? Well, we're just going to go and wait for Moneymaker Girl, right? Uh, you that should get on one. group. You should get on group chat. Yeah, let's at least go to the apartment and figure it out. Okay. You get a message. Um, Pronto and Abby, you get a message that a car is on its way. A Five Shields car is on its way to pick you up. With how did uh, how did Abby's Twitch chat react to someone with a 5S? I assume partner tick next to them uh, talking in the Twitch chat. Oh, that 5S? Account... 5S? Five, 5 shoot? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Bloom was on her alt. Miss Bloom. Uh... Oh, no, I said it had 5S on there. So, yeah, there's a couple mm. of people who know what that means. But in terms, yeah, there's a few people who, who uh, know what that means. There's some eyes emojis in chat. Just happy to get racking the car. it up, Urgh! racking it up today. This is what that. it's like to be on the other side. Let's go. <laughs> I just played it cool. I um, made them a just VIP. A collab. <laughs> yeah, like well, when, when, when Twitch mo when Twitch staff show up in your chat, you're supposed to just be cool about it. You know, it's not it's not cool to not be cool. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. I take two glasses of champagne from the back seat and sit at the front seat and then just hand it to the driver. <laughs> <laughs> Five shields, you can get away with this, right? <laughs> I imagine that just means Boreas like sitting alone in the back and like Danny DeVito emerges. <laughs> uh, Boria is going to town on some kintsuki, uh, which for those of you playing at home is a sweet topic like dessert, uh, mainly from Russia that is made by mixing equal parts milk and cream and sugar. <laughs> oh, wow. Also, I, I was trying to. The red <laughs> Also, just this is not important, but while looking this dessert up, I ended up coming across a OnlyFans person that like has the same name as this candy. And wow, what a Google search! Are you subscribing? What's happening? <laughs> well, I mean, let's just say one thing. Where did your research go? I spent maybe five seconds on the candy. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, uh, uh, you know, for kids. Uh, for kids. No, that, yeah, ship, you know. that ship has sailed a long time ago. <laughs> Did uh, someone we, die first episode? Yeah, someone died <laughs> first episode. We, we were in the boys mode immediately. Uh, the driver politely declines, but only because he's on duty and he wouldn't want to compromise your safety. Oh, that's so attractive. I have both <laughs> glasses. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way you're not drink driving me is getting me so hot right now. Oh, the way you want me to be so safe. <laughs> <laughs> I love the man he's... with a good moral compass. <laughs> it's like a prince oh my god <laughs> alright and then really... sorry go ahead so I'm really flipping it around with the drug addict now to uh, a <laughs> professional driver well it's it's like I feel like Sadie likes uh, people who are know who they are and are very committed to it right like mm -hmm. either boy scouts or bad boys but either way they gotta go all in they have to send it they can't be wishy-washy mm-hmm all right, 
So does anything else, unless I interrupt and have, you know, orcs attack or something, Pronto and Abby, are you just going to go ahead and get some street food and uh, stream it and wait for them to pick you up? Or is there anything else going down? Sounds great to me. Yeah, Pr Pronto is enjoying an excellent street hot dog. Okay. All right. The uh, SUV pulls up, the little decal, you know. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, is is Abby streaming when it pulls up with a decal and they're like, oh, double eyes emoji. It's all coming together. There's gonna be there's gonna be like a superhero TMZ post like five shield signing Abby. <laughs> Abby normal confirmed. Uh, so I think I gotta go. That's our ride. Um, Pronto, you have anything to say to chat? Hi, chat. Try the hot dogs. They're they're amazing. <laughs> uh, go follow his socials too. You guys should already all be following mine. Um, but. Make sure to give Pronto some love and um, obviously like, subscribe, donate. Bye. <laughs> <That's the gotcha. laughs> I was trying to invent, imagine what Pronto's like socials are because you know it's like leg like day gaming or lemon kiwi cast yeah. and it's like Pronto saves or just like <laughs> Pronto Hit and eats. Pronto. I don't know. What the, <laughs> Pronto what is your verb? <laughs> <laughs> it's like pronto for hire, but with a four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have like a picture next to a bunch of smoldering corpses, you with a gun, and the caption is just freelancer, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I think. We've got to talk to the five out. shields. I'm sure they can guess you your real username. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, the driver goes ahead and opens up the door for all of you. You see Buria already in the back. Uh, Sadie seems to be in the front. <laughs> Slightly buzzed off Slightly of Slightly buzzed off of two <laughs> champagnes. Hey. Oh, hey, guys. My, did you guys get my pens? What? Your, pe your pens? <laughs> <laughs> we need, I need some kind of pen for this contract. <laughs> you guys got any pens? <laughs> When no. Leaves the back seat. There's a comically large amount of wrappers that just fall out of the car from all the candy. <laughs> oh, what is wrapping <laughs> happening here? Uh, uh, are those from the payment? Can we stop somewhere on the way and get some pens? There's so much going on in my head right oh. now. <laughs> Miss Wilson, we, we have very high quality pens available on demand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He said, Miss. All right, Miss. are we ready to roll? Can His we driver roll? proves that the pen is mightier than the sword. Oh. <laughs> I, I guess we're ready to go. Probably right. just like staring <laughs> towards the so... <laughs> Miss slides in the know. back next to small fairy Danny DeVito. Uh, small hairy Danny DeVito puts a hand on, uh, <laughs> on Pronto's leg. Your mother is safe. She has been taken to safe house. Not even we know exactly where she is. She will be fine. Thank you, boy. I'm uh, I'm glad they got you what you wanted. Oh, Does this is but a fraction of what I've requested. Don't worry. We will be in the candy for a long, long time, my friend. Oh, that's going to be a storage problem. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Pokes his hand meaningfully. All right, the driver's just going to take you right back to Five Shields unless you tell him to do something else. Gotta go via paper chase, got some spins. I assure you, we have a very satisfactory supply on campus. Where do you hide your pen? <laughs> <laughs> hide the pen? <laughs> just there is out of not suspicious. <laughs> In my pocket, Miss Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, him to, tell him to get reaching. I'm gonna need that pen, Mr. Driver. Is that a really fancy pen in your pocket, or are you just happy to see it? I'm gonna go ahead and grab her extra glass of champagne. <laughs> I thought you were gonna grab his pen. I was like, oh my. I was like, damn, okay, Abby. The pen get intercepts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, oh, we, are we there? Yes, <laughs> you're there! Yes. 
Hey, mate, does the driver have a name? Does the hot driver with a pen have a name? Mm, yeah, absolutely. Oh, My good. pens. Is his name Teller? No, that's terrible. Oh, wow. Okay. We'll go with Ryan. Ooh, I haven't given his last name. Just Ryan. He, because he works in the security department, they tend to conceal a lot of those details. All right. He goes ahead. He opens up the door for all of you, allows you out, surreptitiously uh, taps the, <laughs> the Five Shields app to have cleaning executed on this SUV. Oh, I thought I'm it was so like, can you write me five two. stars? <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, Ryan. Thank you for the ride. Everything's all right, miss. Happy to take care of things. Wait, do we still have the hundred dollar bill? Yeah, the one, the hundred dollar <laughs> bill with the with the uh, address on it. We don't need this, right? We Starts... do need that. We don't have it memorized, and plus, might need to trace it. Didn't you uh, just get given ten thousand dollars? Pulls out another hundred. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Tips the driver $100. Oh, it's a company policy that we don't accept tips, Miss Wilson. What's the Ryan policy? I was going to say something terrible. <laughs> just, just I know move I was going to start. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I know what you were going to say. I think I know what you were going to say. <laughs> that means just accidentally mind reading and just says, Sunny, what? <laughs> what? Who's Ryan policy? Accidentally. <laughs> Well, Mr. Okay. Giovanni, on company hours, Ryan policy is five shields policy. All right. <laughs> Pronto tries to, like, grab Sadie's wrist gently and just, like, guide her to put down the <laughs> hundred on the passenger seat. It's like, when you're off the clock, from Sadie. Until then, it can sit there unbesmirching your little Ryan policy. <laughs> yeah, put it, where your, put it where your pen is. Just so let's go. It's time to go, you guys. It just gets dragged off. No, he's hot. No, no, he's hot. Guys, my defect. It's all part of the campaign. Just, I'm just doing what my character would do. Well, as luck would have it, they've dropped you off in front of HR, and no, they will not be filing a harassment suit at this time. Um, Sorry, but Miss like <laughs> Miss Bloom is right out there with her tablet ready to go. Says. Oh, good. You're all here. Right this way, please. Um, do you need anything? Coffee? Water? Mints? Kintsuki. Coffee, please. And how do you take yours? Caffeinated. The rapper. Caffeinated. <laughs> and she's going to walk you briskly through the glass lobby, sign you all in, uh, take you back through the security doors, a couple layers of security later. Uh, you're in a different conference room than the last one. She's got the contracts all arranged in front of you and says now, uh, there's been a number of recent developments that we all need to discuss. So have you had uh, sufficient time to review everything? Did you have any remaining questions? I'm ready to sign. Um, yep. Bye. I think we're yeah. all good with it. We're in. Perfect. She opens the mini fridge, gets out a bottle of champagne, sets it down on the table, has four glasses ready to go. Uh, <laughs> the candy that must not be Googled is delivered shortly thereafter. And do you all <laughs> sign the contracts? Yeah. Pronto drinks before signing. Is this? His, his brain makes sense. <laughs> is this boom going to include us as to what the major changes were, if any? No, there are no major changes um, outside of the things that you outlined and uh, those requests, for the most part, as we've discussed, have been fulfilled. Yeah, Boria's good to sign. All right. You all sign. She pours another glass of champagne in Pronto's, pours it out, uh, one for herself as well, and she toasts all of you with a big smile. Welcome to the Five Shields Consortium. It is our pleasure and privilege to have you as part of our organization. Now, under normal circumstances, this would be where we'd break into orientation. I know these things can be somewhat boring, so we try to keep ours uh, as interesting as possible. And we can, of course, take breaks, um, but it, you don't waste any time at all, do you? Things have already been moving at a very rapid pace. Uh, so 
we are going to go ahead and take care of your quarters. Those are already set up for you and will be made available to you. Here are your ID badges, your transponders, your login information, just passes out all that stuff. Wow. So transponders, so when we fly in, the guns don't. Exactly. Good to know. Oh. Yeah, as long as that's on your person, a friend or friend or foe identification, uh, it'll, yeah, you'll be able, you'll be clear to land. We always prefer that you let us know ahead of time. Uh, so here are your company phones. You'll go ahead and need to go through and set that up. So make sure it's on your person. We always prefer that you notify us before arriving, but uh, we can assure you that as long as you have the transponder on hand, nothing will happen. And if you don't have it on hand, notify us or just land at the front gate like you did just moments ago. Okay, so let's talk about branding. Uh, we had the the situation at the church. There was some coverage of that. People have already seen that. People have been talking about that. And they can't help but link that to the events of the previous night uh, with the situation at the Guderian Institute that, as we've discussed, we can't go into detail with with the public. So we are working on a story for that. And we are needing, we're going to need to make appearances as soon as possible, or at the very least post some get active on social media to get out in front of this story. So here's your itinerary, whoop, whoop, drags it over, just flicks it on her tablet and it airdrops to each of you. First off, uh, you're gonna have 30 minutes to go ahead and freshen up, then hair and makeup, fitting, uh, and oh. then we'll have a press briefing. Okay. okay. Um, and what what's the line for the briefing? Oh, the briefing, that's when we're going to give you the line. You won't be speaking to the press at that time. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, establish. Oh. Okay. Exactly. So we just it. say one thing? No, no, no. The press briefing, we're going to establish, make sure we're all on the same page. And then we'll go ahead and launch our social media strategy based around that. See, we think this is the perfect time to launch your new brand. Well, the I intro. think this all is great. I just don't want to say the wrong thing. Oh, of course, no. We'll all go over it. Don't post anything yet. We're going to do 30 minutes of break, hair and makeup, fitting. Then we'll go ahead and just stay silent for a little bit longer or don't. Got it. Just don't mention anything, all right? You can you can go ahead and tease if you want. Do I get to watch the makeup artist try and figure out how Boreal works? You know, we actually have a uh, metahuman specialist on site. We've been... Uh, doing some research and we've got an expert in so it's mostly going to be hair more than makeup you've got a variety of blueberry oatmeal uh scented and based shampoos that we think are going to do wonders for your hair buria it's going to feel fantastic oh that cool this all sounds great um we might need a security briefing at mm -hmm. some point some some things have come up um, maybe we can cover that with the press. The okay. Press one. Okay, that's fine. We could also have somebody present at hair and makeup if you want. I think we're safe on the compounds. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it all at once. You're right. All right, so shall we do it? Sure. Lots of ground to cover. Very fast developing situation. Fantastic. Um, Mr. Giovanni, your mother is safe and secure. You're welcome to visit her anytime that you'd like. Uh, we'll, we will need a briefing on the threat so that we just know all of our parameters, uh, but she's well in case. And your guest, uh, Miss Wilson, is also uh, in custody at the moment and neutralized. Great. Thank all right, you. Then. I, pre you. I appreciate that on both counts. Perfect. I'll see you all in a few then. And she gets up and opens the door and kind of is ushering you to lead you to your new quarters. Which is effectively a, there's a small like apartment complex on, no, that wouldn't work. They don't need that many people to work there. Uh, it's, it's like an, a small standalone set of condos, like one row of condos. Olympic Village. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Without the cardboard beds. Uh, <laughs> and for a reason why they're there. <laughs> so they're going to go ahead and escort you over there. And as you're on your way, you see the American and Devil Dove. And yeah, you see them flying overhead and landing at their compound, which is just 
Nope, it's just within like a stone's throw of where you are. It is divided by a separate security wall, but you can see like the tops of their fancy headquarters from where your home is. You say the eyes up, Ryan too. Or should we say apple pie? <laughs> no. Wait, did we apple forget about pudding. that nickname? <laughs> we forgot about apple pie. No. <laughs> we made it your nickname. <laughs> wait, I thought that was erased from who's wait, is it just my memory? I think I think it? only Flux doesn't remember because <laughs> Abby was being mean about it. I didn't erase it, I put it into everyone's. Uh, that was specifically included why in the Why my apple memory. pie? For the American. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Which alert he's right in front of you. Oh. He's flying in overhead with Devil Dove. Should, cool. should should we wave? What should we? I got cool. I still prefer Ryan. <laughs> See who treats yeah, me better. <laughs> he hasn't killed anyone yet. Ooh. Well, maybe if he ran someone over, then she'd be more into him. How did I know you were going to say that? He, may, oh he might have done that. Would you, would you, <laughs> would you call that optimism or <laughs> 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 we just continue down the path? All right. You will all arrive at your new uh, quarters. You have some shared common areas, but then your own like separate suites, all of you. Uh, you have your own bathrooms. There's a shared kitchen. Uh, there's a mini fridge in each room. It's all wired up like a smart house, so you can all power it with voice commands, dim the glass panes, do that thing where they like turn dark to obscure the outside, built-in sound system, nice TVs, just a coffee, fancy coffee maker, very modern, very clean, very high-tech setup for all of you. And it's all security bound to your transponders as well. It, it's got also it's got uh, eyeball ident retinal identification handprint and voice scanning as well and the house AI is glad to have you and you can select a voice that you want a persona that you want and just go ahead and register all these things as soon as time permits and you have 30 minutes to freshen up you tell me when you're ready you can just move to hair and makeup and we can bustle through that unless you have something you want to do first Let's do we want the voice to be Sorry, what was the question? Is, who do we want the house AI voice to be? House AI? Yeah, like it, it's a smart house. We've got to decide what. what well, we don't have we to decide. We all have individual but, ones, right? Oh, do we have individual AI? So it's too? all networked together, but you can recognize each of your voices and respond accordingly, memorize your preferences, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. Onto instantly selects the Kiwi assistant. Have fun names. <laughs> <laughs> Boria select Alan Rickman. Welcome, Boria. You will find a small collection of candies <laughs> in a bucket on your bed. Thank you very much, Mr. Rickman. I choose the TikTok <laughs> caption voice. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. <laughs> it's just like real life. <laughs> this Hello, is mate. Great. This voice has only recently been programmed. It's not particularly good, but be happy to make your stay as comfortable as possible. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> I really oh. should have said it's the same one through the whole house. That would have been a much smarter play. <laughs> we're here now. We're here now. <laughs> You've dug your grave. You all have 30 minutes to freshen up before uh, transport arrives to take you to the public relations department, which has its own uh, studio. Fully functional production studio. And with a green room, hair and makeup, etc. So they're gonna take you all, get completely scrubbed, get all of your hair done up. Uh, when it comes to fitting, I want to draw your attention to the 
in one moment. I'm going to pull it up. The look of the five shields. Red, it's white, got... and blue. I did not mean to, mean to ping his penis. Why did you? I was like, that wasn't me. <laughs> That's what you're All right, everybody. Here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>your outfits are not going to be identical to this they're going to have a little bit more white think of them as away jerseys if you will okay with the same color trimmings and theme but more of that bright white color uh it still has the sponsor patches on there you know what i noticed uh one of the sponsors is Daiskami publishing company right there i see that (laughs) i only noticed that today Let's go. Yeah, I don't know. We might have to cancel the sponsorship. They're into some shady stuff. <laughs> oh my god! More, on moral grounds, I don't know if I can support this. Um, <laughs> but they're going to get you all fitted up for costumes for, and also the blueberry oatmeal shampoo, uh, magnificent. Your skin has, your hair has never felt less grungy, Buria. Moria is enamored with themselves. They have not, since they got out of the uh, the treatment, just been laying on couch, bed, whatever have you that they're on, mm-hmm. and they're just like fluffing on themselves. They look like extra poofy, mm-hmm. and they're just fluffing their 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 fur and just feeling <laughs> amazing. Um, now that they have been thoroughly cleaned, it turns out that they actually have blue looking fur, and the the, the brown was just matted. Oh horrible, no! Like dirt. <laughs> Well, then you're the one who takes the longest because they're like brushing you out and it just keeps going and going and going. They get the power washer. There's like one hair and makeup person for like, for Gabby, for, for Lemon's character for Zadie, and one for Marco, and then suddenly like a, a team rolls like in. A pit, like a NASCAR pit crew that runes in. Just... Someone just tried spraying Buri off with a hose and then they ripped ass and almost killed them so they brought a whole team in <laughs> to do it right <clears throat> okay while all of you are doing this you get a message on your phone Gabby um a new phone or my old phone your old phone okay And it just says, your new friends are in trouble. New friends. And I text back, new phone, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> okay. They send back an attachment. An encrypted attachment. It's, uh, it doesn't require a password, but it was locked until it arrived at your phone but you can choose whether or not you want to open it. I open it. Okay. It's a PDF of an incident report. It's got a lot of math and charts, and it is government. Uh, Department of Homeworld Security. It's very complicated. Is this the sort of thing that Gabby is like good at reading through all this military and technical jargon? I mean, she can read. Okay. (laughs) I I put put one point into literacy. (laughs) Okay. I mean, Uh, but yeah, not anything specific. Okay. Satellite tracking uh, did not enter the atmosphere, just emerged in the atmosphere. Uh, lost track over Empire City. Investigation underway. Possible third party interference. Unknown life form. Unknown origin. First contact results unknown. I'm going to text it back. Text them back and be like, I don't even know who this is about. And then texts you back with a tweet of the purple and blue fireball streaking through the sky the other night. 
Yeah, but who's in trouble? No response. <clears throat> Miss Bloom enters as everybody's been fit with your costumes and says, How's everyone feeling? Nice and refreshed? Ready to go? Ready to face the world? <laughs> yep. Are we going to have to do all press, in press interactions in this? You know, uh, we're still doing it's like some... the uptime of a uniform. Well, we're still doing some market analysis, so we should definitely be prepared to use these as needed. But we think that for your brand, we're going to lean a little bit more into that authenticity. So we're working on a couple of more subtle options for you. Uh, so no, I, I, we don't think this is going to be the majority of the time, but we had to take care of this right off the gate. Okay. I think it looks great. Excellent. So, uh, question, have we discussed what is going to be happening with me? Because so far, Boria does not fight crime. Winter Wampus is a local hero. Mm -hmm. Well, we're, that's partially up to you, Boria. Uh, you already have an identity out there, sort of a public persona, and we're hoping to capitalize on that because you've done a really good job of building that brand. Uh, as for the Winter Wampus, there's a couple... Well, the Winter Wampus has been seen active with this particular group. Uh, have you actually? Have you ever been seen active with this group in Wampus form? You went Wampus Not form on, on camera. Okay. Then yeah, we we'll haven't transformed on camera, and the Winter mm -hmm. Wampus has definitely shown up. And if people show up at the scene before we leave, they mm -hmm. probably have caught a glimpse. But yeah, it hasn't been like advertised or anything. Yeah, not yeah, advertised. Church, but the church, the church situation, which is what they want to talk about today. So they're saying, all right. So you're first sort of outing as a group already happened at the church. Um, there's a bit of a media frenzy going on, a lot of speculation, a lot of people already putting together the pieces between this and the incident that occurred the other night. So we are look, looking to get a story out in front of this. Now, we had a lot of people seeing your interactions, Sadie, with Eretic. So that is a slightly delicate matter that's going to take a deft hand in order to deal with it. Uh, his family is fairly well connected. Um, that being said, I think that the the rivalry, the X angle there is going to be great for some content, great for some stories. So I think that there's an angle there that we can work with. Um, but overall, one of the decisions we have to make is how we're going to present his involvement in this. Are we positing him as a victim, as an instigator? If we put him out there as an instigator, then again, that's gonna make an enemy of his father, which is something we would, it might be unproductive. You wanna make I mean, him a victim? Well, the alternative is complicated. He snorted alien goo. How was well, he a victim? He made that choice. That part of the story isn't out there yet. That's the thing. We have the opportunity right now to craft the narrative as we need to. Yeah, he's what a I... drug addict. He can be a victim of drugs. Okay. And okay. cheating. He cheated on me. Why would I want to help his career at all? Well, it's not about helping his career, Sadie. It's about helping your career. We need to make sure that we frame this in a way that's going to be beneficial to your brand image. Right, obviously, well, obviously, what you did was heroic. Um, all right, so you we've could got... uh, frame it as him having a psychotic breakdown. I mean, we've got plenty of evidence on Sadie's film that he was uh, crazy, ab abnormal. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sadie was approached by a previous relationship type person and she decided instead of leaving him to the uh, the inhospitable society she stepped in as a hero would and it turns out maybe he gets in over his head and now he is passion project for shield to assist something like that all right so okay no this is this is workable this is workable we have an ownership stake in a major uh, metahuman rehabilitation facility, very upscale facility. We can tie that in, start his recovery arc as part of that without taking away the blame from him. He can go through the standard um, apology path or at least be framed that way. So that will protect your reputation and not make him a villain. There will probably be some blowback from the family. I think, okay, we're gonna start working on this right now. Uh, we're gonna go with the drug angle. 
That being said, we still have the issue of the connection with the events of the previous night. So we're going to, we're working on a, uh, working on a couple of solutions for that. Um, one, just one moment. And she steps outside to take a call. Hey, do you oh. think that he name dropped his daddy in order to have that cop let him off the hook? Seems like the kind of thing he do. He is an asshole. Although, it's very possible. I wonder how much people know about last night. Like, if they're putting it together, it must have been like the crystal stuff. They're like, oh, there's a connection. There are some crystals on the on the church, and there are some crystals at the Gadarian thing. But were there? I mean, they wouldn't even have the cops show up at the uh, at the warehouse. True, it was, it was mostly, f mostly five shields, guys. Yeah. We don't have to make anything of a connection at all. Da. Speaking of connection, and Beria turns to uh, to Gabby. Uh, should we just pretend I am like Team Pet or what? Like a mascot? Yeah, like, like mascot. For the press? Da, I mean, you know, you are in charge of Buria social media. Like, is I'm not probably... in charge anymore. I'm pretty sure we just sold that. Well, uh, yeah, but you were the one who decided to help make you know, something so I could get around with you and not draw too much suspicion. Uh, I would prefer for Winter Wampus to, to stay on the down low and just kind of be, you know, help when needed and not be, you know, super... I would rather keep my name out of superhero paper as much as possible. I mean, when it comes to your public persona, I think we can definitely hide it, but you're gonna, gonna have to use your superpowers here. Oh, that, yeah. Maybe we say that Gloria calls him up, like, yo, when the Wampus, you coming? Yeah, he's like dropping. cousin or something. I think you have to discuss that with the PR person. Miss Bloom that. opens the door, walks back in, and she's not alone. How do they know about all? With her is Breach Fist seen on the map right here. The leader, right? Mm-hmm. Bronto blushes slightly. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I think you've already been introduced. This is Annabelle. Uh, Annabelle Silver... You have that right? Break okay. first. Yeah, yeah this Silverman. Is Yep, Annabelle Silverman. This is, uh, you've already probably been introduced with her. This is Breach Fist. Um, she's here to welcome you to Five Shields and has a few points to discuss as well. Hi, Annabelle. <laughs> she will uh, give you a polite smile and then uh, mm -hmm. go ahead and sit down. She's not wearing that Power Fist gear at the moment. Just... Uh, she is wearing the rest of the getup, but not the power fist gear. And she goes ahead and sits down. How are we settling in so far? Go Good. ahead. Everything's yes. amazing. Mm -hmm. Good. It's great. Uh, my house AI is a Kiwi, which is very fun. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Excellent. We're all very excited to be here. Good. I'm really, really glad that you took our offer. Uh, listen, I have been talking with the team. And we think that the best thing to do right now, and PR agrees with us, is to have the department take care of some of this most recent incident. But there's actually something that you could help us with that uh, would uh, <clears throat> would give the press something else to chew on. Would you have a mind? mission? Yes, a mission, actually. Oh, we could there's do a mission. <laughs> Perfect. So there is a ship that is capsized and went down in the Indian Ocean right now. It is mm -hmm. not it's not getting any press coverage at the moment. Uh, there's so much else going on between the election, the situation overseas, um, and just our local events as well. Now, technically, that is international waters, but that ship is flying under an American flag, which puts it within our area of operation. 
we think it would be a great look for you to be involved in the rescue mission. Great. I need to stay on the boat. What? What's... What? I have a phobia of the deep sea. Oh, come on. Really? He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. We'll figure it out. I... Well, thank God for you. There's going to be no spiders out there. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Spiders can kill you. Earlier. Water can unless no you're dumb. Control. This is like you're a, a modern you're day boat. Like a, like a ship. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. It's a, a cargo ship. Smaller on the smaller side. Not a full size container ship. Smaller size cargo ship. Now, I've seen this plenty of times. Trust me. Um. And one of the things that, that I think is really important about a mission like this is to work together and to apply each person to their best suited strength. So, Pronto, have you ever operated in a mission control capacity? Uh, no, but I'm fairly sure I could help out or if there is any need for tactical harpoons to drag things up, I'm your I couldn't know about the specifics of the situation, um, but what I do know is that they're gonna need support up top because there could be pirates or other threats. So having you as a lookout, tactical, surface side support and ready to stand guard in case anything goes wrong could be an excellent approach. There might be some Corsairs looking for some loot as well, so. Exactly, exactly. with that. Okay, what roles have each of you taken in your operations in the past? Um, well, you know, they haven't been as, um, organized. We, we really <laughs> go very authentically. Mm -hmm. Um, you could call me a documenter. Um. Right. Right. Um, Boria, what about you? I've seen some impressive things from you. Uh, how are Boria you with, has. How are you with water? Oh, Boria is fine with water. Mm -hmm. Boria is not afraid of anything. Okay, excellent. And Sadie, how do you feel about there it? There won't be any lab coats there, will there? No, no there shouldn't be. It wasn't a research vessel, uh, according to my report. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's fine. I can fly with some water. Okay, great. We're going to go ahead and put this together. We've done a tactical analysis on it, and there should be enough of an air supply there for us to go ahead and put this whole crisis team on lock um, and give us a little bit of time. So you, we'll, give, we'll go ahead and forward the mission briefing over to you. This should be a fairly simple rescue operation, and we will have a tactical support crew with submarine, the ship. We'll take care of all those aspects of it. Really, we just need you to be seen doing this and to take an active role in the rescue, all right? Back. So you're Please. saying wait, I can wait, live stream wait, wait. it? Yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, perfect. I miss breakfast. Mm -hmm. That is in the Indian Ocean, right? Yes. So are we flying to one of the ports out there? Oh, we'll just fly you directly. On a private jet? Well, I mean, technically, yes. You okay. can Ryan fly? <laughs> Who? Can Ryan fly? <laughs> oh. He has very many pins. Great asset within your organization. Surely he's a pilot too. I mean the driver. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, not exactly in my department. We'll see what I think he is how you say bodyguard? He was sent to watch us while we were Transporting. Well, let me put, throw that up to transport right and see if we can take care of that. All right. That sound good. Okay. All right. I'm we'll pretty sure they're going to have pens on the boat. I guess. We'll get everything situated though. for you. I think that uh, Miss Bloom had one more thing. Hold on. Hold on. Did anyone have any other questions? Like I said, full mission briefing coming your way. Uh, yeah. Do you happen to know what caused the wreck? No, not at the moment. We're thinking it was a mechanical failure. Do you happen to know where Greenback Atir hangs out? Greenback Atir? Yeah, the old villain guy. Used to do some bank robberies. 
Yeah, I, 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 yeah, of course I've heard of him. I mean, I was going to mention this to, to Miss Bloom. I didn't think. I thought maybe sh she might know where he hangs out, you know, from just inside her knowledge. I mean, he's fairly active in Empire City. Uh, was there something else? The immune to bullets. <laughs> uh, no. No. I mean, his powers can be used for defense, but no. Thank you. I... Was there something else, Gabby? Oh, um, you know, we're just being blackmailed over, like, the information that we have. Uh, I was going to mention it to Ms. Bloom, but I guess you you could, you could stay in here too if you want. Yeah, that's gonna have to wait. And she sits down again. Talk to me. Okay, well, it started when my Reddit mod, um, his NFTs got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Luis this, do it. Um, so uh, it, Pronto's mom got, got threatened and it seems like the crypto current here is now, um, hold up in that research facility and threatening everyone close to us. And they're kind of dual with the green beckets here. Yeah. And she wants to know why we were there. Wait, did you say hold up under the research facility? That, yeah, that's where she is. And huh. you said that's the hideout? The, oh, for f The secret for echelon sake. base? That's why they wanted to know. They didn't give a shit about, like, what the American did. They thought we were there looking for them. Nah. The Echelon Alliance's base is under the Guderian facility? Yeah. That's why they cared. I think we're doing good work here already. Nah. Okay. New plan. <laughs> Wait, so we're not going to rescue the boat? No. So no boats? No. Oh, thank God. We'll, we'll, we'll outsource that one. Okay, thank you. Does that mean we pass the test? I think so. Uh, give me a moment, all right? And she gets up and she goes on her earpiece and she's like, oh yeah, Brad, sick of the little small fish? I got one for you. And she steps out. I think we will be getting that tutelage program set up soon. Oh yeah, she could mentor me. Yeah, but you <laughs> are on mute, I think. Do you think we get to go on the big mission with them? Da. Like with the American? Yeah, with the American. Okay, I'm down. We'd, I think we'd probably be bait. Like if we turn up there again, we'd be like, ah, oh, these weak pieces of meatballs. Oh, I'm down we'll go to be get bait. <laughs> I think that's totally fine. I mean, we can and live then, stream it and they, they can make appearances on the stream. Like, yeah, a collab. Then American will come down and punch him into her intestines fall out. It sounds like we're going to be doing the collab earlier than they thought. That's it's gonna be huge for us. It's gonna be huge for us. It will be incredibly powerful collaboration, indeed. Brian could take us there. Uh-huh. And he'll like <laughs> wait in the car to make sure we're safe. Yeah. I just wanna beat up some baddies. Like when does that start happening? She I steps think very soon. Breach steps back into the room and says Okay. Mission briefing room. Let's go. I like missions. And Great you, success. You, Day one, we go to the mission briefing room. <laughs> you leave the PR department and go to the Five Shields headquarters. Breach Fist passes through security, checks you all in, temporarily elevates your clearance, and brings you into... They have a huge internal courtyard with massive plant garden raised up in the middle. Uh, waterfalls on either sides. Again, very modern, but also very grandiose. Uh, there's a helipad up top. And they're going to go ahead and bring you into a 
It's a very, very cool room, obviously designed for optics. Big old round room, hollow projector in the middle, ultra wide curved monitor in the back, extremely comfy chairs, uh, AR elements in place so that they can project things in the air. Uh, there's a couple of personnel, support personnel on staff, five shields personnel with just with headsets on and they're typing in things. We should assist you down says, okay. We're gonna work with our operators here while I get the rest of the crew together and brief them. I'm thinking... Sundown. You That's are very mute. imprecise. It's just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this during the day, all right? Um, is there anything else we need to know about them? Anything else that you've left out? Anything that needs to be, needs to be erased? Erased. Are they the ones hiring that security? That's got to be it. That's got to be the source of the... I mean, <laughs> the Echelon Alliance is down there. Yeah, they're going to have good security. Okay, I... then if, if they were public security, there's probably like a public tax filing. See who mm -hmm. was paying them, seeing if they're paying anyone else in the city. Mm -hmm. Yep. We will track that. This. You have no idea how many problems this solves. I am pretty I mean, sure... Also, who are the Echelon Alliance? Okay. <laughs> Let me get you the file. Uh, Gabby, did you have something? I was just going to ask for a briefing. I mean, we don't know. Right. Okay. Anything what's going on here. I mean, but I guess I have her name. Okay. Let me bring you up to speed. The Echelon Alliance is a professional association of villains. It's a, oh. they, they formed it as a mutual defense pact against masked vigilantes, costume heroes, and the set. This the other sort. They are there's their leader is the Artificer and Doctor Tesseract. Those are two of their most important leaders. Uh, but they have a wide variety of other members that call themselves. You can think of it as a professional a union of sorts for villains. Individually, most of its members aren't that big of a threat. But when they're all working together they pose a serious threat. I suspected that they had a base of operations in Empire City. Us getting to this first, before the guard, before any of the rest of them, this is going to be huge. Uh, Dr. Tesseract, incredible powers of teleportation. Artificer, perhaps the most brilliant inventor on the planet. Um, who else? Who, El Demonio and Bruja, uh, he's a demon. It's not really his fault, um, but he is a demon. Um, Direpunk, Cyborg, Greenbacketeer, Cryptocurrenteer, Crystal Pirate. It's it's a very long list, but the thing that sets them apart is that they, they follow a code, all right? They, they don't kill innocents. Uh, they don't work with aliens, uh, enemies of Earth, rather. Uh, they don't work with bigots, which I appreciate. And they try not to kill costumed heroes or police, though that's sort of something that, you know, you're not going to get kicked out for that. But they have kicked out people for going over the line before. So this could be really messy. This could be really loud. But this isn't going to be a complete bloodbath. This doesn't have to be a, com this doesn't have to be a complete bloodbath. This can be a the biggest collar for a over a year. Well, you should probably tell your American friend that. I think this, they are Stories. pretty gung-ho. Yeah, Br Brandon. Question for you. Mm -hmm. um, would they have any expectant links to Russian scientists? Good question. Because um, that was. Uh, we were looking around there because of mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. With him. Yeah, they were real interested in Pudia. Specifically, the conservation of the occult lore and deities, perhaps? Not a group that I'm immediately familiar with. I don't know if, who in Echelon would be involved with that. Let me go through all the files that we have available and see if I can find any links, all right? This group, Echelon, not connected to General Winter, are they? No. No known connection with General Winter. General Winter does his own thing. He, he He's a force of nature. He's interceded before, but nah. he doesn't really care about those sorts of things. Uh, you say this Tesseract person, they have teleportation power? Yes, Dr. Tesseract. Hmm. Yeah, duh, they were there. Oh. Hmm. 
Dr. Tesseract is interesting. She's one of the only members of the Echelon who still has their secret identity, whose actual identity has not been revealed. Oh, very good. Uh, you say we are going to be a uh, crashing party of super villainous leak. Well, it sounds like actually really nice super villainous leak. Um, and we will be bringing our team, your team. Uh, are there anyone else you have alliance with? Because we may be, despite your impressive power, uh, could be in and over our head going into secret hideout. Oh, we're going to have backing. Don't worry. Five Shields, the team is going to be out there, but we have a variety of operational units that will also be on site. You saw a little bit of that the other night. Ah. Okay, All right. I am ready I'm to ready go. For, uh, ready for a big frag. All right. We get to go, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We just need to find out exactly where to slot you in. Go lab time. Five minutes. And she steps out of the room. <gasps> oh, my God. It's happening, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to live stream this one, though. I would maybe uh, maybe we just put it on VAT or something. This is going to be super important. Everyone needs to know that we had five shields. All of us now, the big team. This is like our first. debut. This is. We're going to be debuting on the biggest collar in years. I'm so and glad we we're doing this us. instead of the the boat mission. Like you have no idea. They were kill us or something. Great success. Ah. And they could kill us so easily at sea, there'd be no way out. I think... This uh, would be the end, Pronto. <laughs> I think it is time Boria step out into the light. I think Winter Wampus and Boria will become one. We will have the backing of a big organization. If Cold decides to show their ugly faces, then we will be able to take them head on. On camera? Ah. Oh, wow. We will plan big opening. We will have small pet Boria show up and we will have camera zoom in as Boria become winter wampus for the world to see. Well, the thing is, we were, we were there looking for your guys. And if that's the case, maybe the Echelon Alliance is kind of like one of their main procurers of things out here. If we take them down, then they're going to have a lot less power maybe in Empire City. And then you're safer here, yeah? Yeah, ah, that's a good point, Pronto. Make him sometimes. If uh, if you see anyone down there in Lab Coat, Pronto, you should first ask question later, okay? Gotcha, bud. Lab Coat is awful. They are very, very bad people. We have a code word to like turn off a stream when I see someone in a lab coat. They're like, oh, spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> Mouse <My> spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> If, if I yell spaghetti, don't put the camera on me. Got it. <laughs> the door opens. And Swordbuster is the first one to step through. Mustache, goatee, bald head. He's got that axe at his side glowing slightly purple. Just walks in, looks over the lot of you, looks over his shoulder, keeps walking, sits down, kind of on the opposite side of the room. Uh... My speed is suddenly in his chair instantaneously. Devil Dove walks in, folds her wings carefully and sort of makes her way over. Uh, doesn't Decides to psychically float herself very slowly. Wait, looks over. she has the wings, but she doesn't need to use them to fly? Oh, the wings help her fly fast, but she also oh. has telekinesis. They're aesthetic wings. Mm-hmm. You know, gnomes, you could cosplay for uh, a sword buster if you got a goatee for, for the final one. <laughs> got <laughs> ripped. <laughs> Just find a magical axe that grants you super Exactly. That's all I have to do. Breach Fist walks in, followed by the American, Brad Knutson. He's got Brad a Newton? Knutson. Knutson. Uh, I'll spell it out because I can't be helped. Hey, and... There you go. Oh. He walks in, he's got his uh, normal clothes on. He's not wearing his uniform. He's wearing uh, like jeans and a suit jacket. Ooh. 
walks in. He's got a tablet and he's scrolling through and he says, Annabelle, I hope you've got something better than that last one. Snooze. Looks it over. He then he looks, he notices that you're all here. Looks across you, eyes linger on Sadie for a moment. He goes over and sits down, gives you the hey. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> hey. All cool. Says it in cool. <laughs> exactly. In, exactly. That's what the subtitle says. Says, says hey. <laughs> and everyone sits down. Annabelle goes ahead and pulls up a map of the city. It says, thanks to our new attaches, we've just learned that the Echelon Alliance's headquarters is located in Brooklyn. Underneath the abandoned Guderian Institute. All that security, all that, everything we found, it makes sense now. Our plan right now is to launch a rapid strike on them, bust down the door, take as many of them captive as possible. Brad says, finally, a decent plan. When do we go? Tonight. It's gonna to be best if we hit at night. We're gonna start moving into position. We've already got strike teams on the ground, uh, taking up a perimeter as surreptitiously as we can. We're gonna have our support teams ready. We just need to develop our tactical strategy. We're gonna, five shields will function as the entry team. Who, who are you guys? Who are you people? Wait, who says that? Annabelle, Breach Fist does. Oh. But she does that not like looking at you, but sort of like, who are you? Did we did we cover that yet? Uh, no no real team branding yet. But we are the Crusaders. That's what we came up with. Or we can rebrand as the Bucklers since we are working with shields. I don't think and we've um, settled on a name, but um, just signed with five shields. And who are the bracers? Like Ooh, five brace shields yourself. academy or we, four swords? We, we got to nail this down immediately. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay, it's brainstorming not, session. That's not my department. I'm going to focus on the tactical plan. Uh, we need to fit each of you in there. Uh, Swordbuster says, yeah, what do they do? A gun. What are you trying to find out? <laughs> his eyes go really wide his mustache perks up slightly on either side and he gets this big old weird smile <laughs> just clutches her side and gives him a weird <laughs> smile back alright small objects start to float nearby Ethan, Ethan, hey he rolls his eyes but yeah, you just tell the kinesis to put the objects down, yeah Ethan calm down <laughs> Maybe it would be best if we got a tactical summary from each of you. Gun. Very good gun. Oh, and uh, I mean, I'm a face changer. Okay, let me think about that. Uh, for this operation, given that the Echelon Alliance plays by the rules, we want to avoid casualties if at all possible. So, I'm sure we'll still find uses for your talents, absolutely. Just don't shoot to kill. You guys have got, like, rubber bullets, right? We can hook you up with something. We can find something out. Bronto, we have covered this. Rubber bullets only do so much when you shoot them in the head. I might fall that don't hit bad targets. Can you do a, a limb shot, chin shot? In shot? Oh, that sounds challenging. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, excellent. That's fine. That's fine. That doesn't bust the rules of engagement. We have technology. We can fix that. Okay. Sadie. Shows the scythe. Mm -hmm. Swordbuster looks up with his glowing axe, <laughs> which is smaller than <laughs> yours, <laughs> but it glows. <laughs> and he sort of looks from it to you. Yeah, she's basically the Grim Reaper, but hot. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that was very accurate summary. <laughs> you see Brad thinking about that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Brad will remember that. All right. <laughs> Brad Sadie, liked that. <laughs> Sadie, Sadie flies, uh, projectile attacks, localized telekinesis. All right. Uh, Buria, smash. 
It's more complicated pass. than this, but yes. <laughs> smash or pass? Borgia edition. <laughs> smash. The American smash. Smash. Brad says pass. <laughs> <laughs> Brad does not know what he is missing. Borgia is not interested in any way. But Borgia would smash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ethan, he actually Helen, Devil Dove sort of snickers and looks at Brad who scowls at her. All right. And then Abby, full-fledged coverage. We can get you an entire on-the-ground camera team. All right? That would be amazing. Lights, multiple feeds. We need you in position to get the best possible view. We're going to send in five shields first. We want you to... Um, i do more than that. I mean, how do you think that I got my... I grew my socials. I'm, I'm, I'm a psychic. I can read minds, delete, implant. I mean, I'm still growing, but... That's how I found the information you needed. Okay. All right. All right. Um, can... I wonder if they're going to have my shield installed after the dark crisis. No, we can still use that. We can still use that. We're going to put you on recon intel and uh, publicity. Unless there's something cool. else you think that would be better suited for you. Uh, no, I mean, if we could still live stream, I think that'd be really great. That's why. Uh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. That's it's not why you're here, but it's why you're here. All right. So. Okay. We're going to have you, your team waiting in the wings. Let the five shields engage. Have, cover as much of the action as you can from the outside. Then you go in on follow up. Go after targets of opportunity. Go after easy wins. Don't put yourselves in serious danger. Uh, not because we don't think you can handle it, but we've been working together as a team for a while. Uh, Ethan, Swordbuster, rolls his eyes. And so we're all comfortable with each other in the field in a tactical situation. Normally we would undergo training with you as our attaches to make sure that we all know our, how to operate, but we are on a timetable here. We are not going to be able to pull that off. All right, so you're gonna be waiting in the wings. Once we go in, you're going to grab stragglers, pursue targets of opportunity. Abby, you're gonna go after good stories, okay? Cool. You're in charge of managing that for this team. Mm -hmm. All right, figure out a name. We need to figure out a name. This is your big debut, all right? I'll take care of the tactical side of things. Sounds good. Oh man, I hate coming up with names. <laughs> the uh, five shields sort of circle up amongst themselves and they're talking back and forth. Ethan. So just to uh, confirm, we do not like the Crusaders. We are not down with being the Cloud Crusaders anymore. I think my mom likes that name too much. I don't care. Well, if they have five shields, we, we can be something similar. He can be for something. <gasps> oh, true. There's four of us. Yeah. Did you only just realize this? Or, <laughs> 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 or are you being sarcastic? You know he doesn't get it. No, I didn't think about it. Can your hand eat people? <laughs> you ever tried? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Yeah, but like they they don't die in there. They don't like get digested. Boria is gonna make a suggestion. Mm -hmm. He gives the Russian Boria. equivalent of shield, and he says we could be the four shits. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That makes sense. <laughs> it's not very kid friendly, though. Well, if we want the younger population to like us. That's not how it's spelled, but yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work with PR. What about we play off like, uh, like all classic superhero names of old, like the Avengers. We could be like uh, the Revengers or <laughs> the Prevengers. The Prevengers. <laughs> the Re Revengers. Too bad the Fantastic Four is already a thing. True. But they're not that fantastic, are they? 
through one of the really fantastic four. They're also yeah. not real, so, you know, you have that going for you. The better fantastic four. Oh, well, what about, what about for the fans, but four is like the number four. Because mm. we got a lot of fans already. Okay, that's stupid. <laughs> it's giving me like boy band, you know? You don't think you could be in a boy band? Why don't we just have Twitch chat vote for a name? <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. At like one million subs. One million subs will release our name. Oh, damn. Yeah, that, that'd be a really good way to have like some kind of off-stream interaction where maybe a tweet was posted through the week that would allow people to vote on some particular name for the squad. I'm not sure and if we should allow uh, the online peoples to vote, because else we end up with name like Boaty McBoat Team or something like that. Ah. Do, do we want to risk favorite. Being... <laughs> <laughs> I, I would not mind being Boaty McBoat Team. That sounds fun. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna ask my Discord real quick. We're gonna get a lot of lot of options. Give me a second. Okay. What about Alt F4? Because we close out the bad guys. I like that one, but we might be like too too much of a computer. Plus, when people try to like type our name, they might close their browser, which would be <laughs> really be funny. Terrible <laughs> for <pretty> SEO. <laughs> What about the quad squad? Sure. I kind of like it. Okay. Quad. quad. Okay. Well, you yeah, suggested huh. my chat. I don't know. I'm down. Can we go beat up some people now? <laughs> but, okay. Qua it's, it's quad seriously. squad. Go frag. This is good. I, we we can use that quad squad. Da. Do you want to be apple pie forever? Is that the serious question? No! <laughs> I mean, when I said you were Hard Grim Reaper, you seemed pretty apple pie. I, I'm down with Hard Grim Reaper for apple pie! I look nothing <laughs> like an apple. Or a skull. Or a I just want someone to call me wife. <laughs> 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 Miss Bloom drops by and says, How's it going, gang? How we doing? Any, uh, anything? Creative juices popping up? Yeah, we have uh, decided that say the uh, hot green reaper good, apple pie very bad. No. Oh, Miss Boom, you can help us with like anything, yeah? Of course. Can you call her a wife? <sighs> he just Stop. really needs it now. <laughs> is is that something that would be helpful, Sadie? Not from you, respectfully. Well, that is very me. <laughs> <laughs> I said respectfully. No, it's completely fine. No offense taken. All right. This is, I like to keep things professional anyways. Um, but call me. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you right. like the quad squad? Quad squad. Um, we might need some workshopping, but we don't have enough time to work on it. Tell you what, let's get that going out there as the hashtag, as sort of the pre-launch unofficial title. We're not going to put it on any of the merch or any of the branding. Let's start getting that, that out there semi-organically, and then we can come up with something else once we've run it through uh, focus testing, okay? Sounds, Sounds good. good. Okay. Because we are solving a mystery, maybe we could be Mystery Incorporated. That would be very interesting uh, name, I think. Is Myst exactly mystery Inc.? Yeah, Mystery Inc. Yeah, that would be really good to go with the kids, you know? I think we're going for more oh. modern vibe than that. Um, but let's yeah, let's yeah. stick with the Quad Squad for the time being, and let's go ahead and get geared up, shall we? You'll be taking your field commander, will be Breach Fist, for this operation. Uh, and I trust that you're all excited to work with the five shields already, and that you'll be uh, compliant since Annabelle has a lot of tactical experience. I, you can be trusted to follow along. Da, yeah, where is this, uh, the, the, the dossier, mission brief? Right. Oh, it, boop, 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 passes it over to all of you. It is and, dense. There's profiles for a ton of different Echelon Alliance villains. And when will we be making our entrance after the initial breach? Uh, so I want, Abby, I want you to cover this, um, 
driving up while this is going on, all right? I want, we want to get this covered almost immediately. Try to keep the support teams out of frame. Don't focus on them. We're going to focus on the five shields and on the four of you, okay? The quad squad. Well, yeah, the quad squad. We'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, the quad squad. Okay. Why not the god squad? Ooh. None of you are particularly brand. Oh, you know what? Let's fine. Let's stick with quad squad for the time being. We can workshop god squad later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. And then there is a hubbub of activity. Lights start to flash as tactical response teams begin loading out, and uh, Ethan walks out along with Devil Dove. They sort of go their own way. Ethan looks over his shoulder at uh, Sadie. Devil Dove looks over her shoulder and then looks down at her phone. Looks over it at Abby for a moment. Walks off. You reckon she's you reckon she's like drafting a tweet that has you tagged in it? That'd be sick. Stop, you don't think? I'm pretty sure she hates my guts, but we can dream. <laughs> and then the American walks over to the group. Oh, hey, Brad. Hey, uh, what are we calling you? Uh, Quad, oh, anytime. Did you just give him, did you already give oh, him your so, number? Uh, I, I like showed him, like showed him the number. Mm -hmm. And I think I just, she's just like, cause I don't think they actually introduced. So it was like, mm -hmm. just puts out her hand. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grabs your hand. All right, look, uh, first time doing something like this. I mean, we, Are we you were there us? when you were there. Yeah, no, I remember. Look, I just, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, totally. I'm just saying, don't blow this. All right. Um, could you be more specific? Like, how mm -hmm. could we blow it? So we make sure we don't blow it. Yeah, right. like, you know, killing somebody, maybe. What constitutes blowing he it? He glares at you. <laughs> <laughs> and a vein in his temple twitches. Hypothetically. Down at Danny DeVito. I mean, to be fair to Buria, like discovering that that guy was at Echelon Alliance henchman makes things better. No, oh, it's good. Yeah. No, it's going to clean that, that whole thing going away now. Yeah, that's great. No, look, you're not, we're not going to blow this. Okay. You know why? Trust me on this one. Because if you do, they're going to give you all the shit jobs. Like the boat. Like the boat. Exact. Like the boat. They tried to give you the boat, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that was a like swipe. Boats. Swipe immediately on that one. Boring. No coverage. No no glamour to it. Super utilitarian. So don't fuck this up. Not good for the stream. Exactly. You are amazing yeah. with the pep talk there, uh, Chad. Brad. <laughs> Moria doesn't take his eyes away from uh, the American. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. He's just a pup. Yeah, da, just a pup. You know, bow wow. All right, pup. <laughs> it's amazing he can speak it all. I am talking Two languages. <laughs> Here's my advice. Don't get in our way. No disrespect. We just know what we're doing. Follow our lead. Capture the good stuff. Capture um, physically or like camera? Camera. Oh. Cam camera. Got it. I'm in charge of physically okay. capturing the good stuff. Looks over at Sadie for a moment. All right. Don't blow this. <clears throat> he turns around and walks out. I'm going to use telekinesis to trip him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uh, check out the American's ass. Can I spend 90 points to make sure it happens? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, 89.9. <laughs> you watch him trip and you swoon. Oh my gosh. Okay, the American trips, falls, floats up, grabs, oh, cool. grabs the briefing chair next to him, rips it, out of the ground 
crushes it between his hands, throws it into the side, leaving a dent in the wall, and walks out. I was going to catch him. You reckon they made that meta-human rehabilitation place for like... <laughs> for this guy? Random yeah. reasons, or... I think he needs therapy. <laughs> He's angrier therapy, than maybe. I am. I mean, the pillow talk will be insane. <laughs> no, I, I would say, uh, do not put your scythe in crazy there, uh, Sadie. Maybe want to leave that don't, American Don't stick your pen. Don't alone. dip your pen in crazy. <laughs> don't dip your yeah. pen in crazy ink. <laughs> no, make, sure you, make sure you keep the tip on that pen. He thinks we are glorified camera crew. I think uh, maybe the... What are we again? The bomb squad? Uh, the we what? Will, the, the bomb squad? <laughs> we, will, we will show them exactly what it means to mess with us. We will show them. The bomb squad isn't actually that bad. It's not. Except and for Sadie doesn't have her bombs yet. Well, he's he's cute when he's mad. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to do that again. <laughs> not what I meant, but okay. <laughs> I want to be that chair so bad. <laughs> God, I wish that was me. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. And on that lovely note, we're going to wish everybody a good night. Tune in next time for the finale of our Absolute Power mini-series when our heroes raid the Guderian Research Center. You wanted to punch some people, Lemon Kiwi? You're going to get the chance. Yeah. It's going to be a massive heroes versus villains showdown with, against the Echelon Alliance. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We will see you next time. My pet.